just a quick update and some bit of business we're going to run into real quickly here. Here we're on Climber on Steak Max. See, we've starting to see a little bit of the separation uh, between copy between the various days. So was that point six four nine? About point six five. Now we about point six nine. So about point oh four in the past three days. That's pretty good. For climbing, I believe the price has been not been doing that well, but you know, what are you gonna do? Price has dropped down some, but still the metric tons of carbon are being taken up. And when that price I think they're like at about four or five dollars a piece now, when those prices spike, wow, what do you that's gonna be a crazy um metric to keep an eye on. So it recovered a little bit. It was up to like 1700s, up down to 1460. But we're not worrying as so much about price. We are concerned about how much we are rebasing the rebase rate, APY. Oh, yeah, yeah. All these things was important. Let's move over to the Avalanche Network. And we have a bit of business to do over here at Avalanche. We'll look at something. Now the price will matter about something here in a second. We'll see. All right, so Avalanche here. Let us refresh Control F5. Control F5 to refresh to a hard refresh to any page. The things that we get confusing, stack, max. Let's get our copy on. We're just gonna move fast for this one. Let everybody get in their preparations for the for the holidays. So okay. Hey, we we were. I'm sorry, I put this under snowbank. I wonder if I did the same last time. I go back and watch the video and see. <laughs> Copy. Paste. Let's delete this. All right, let's go ahead and do snowbank quickly. Max copy paste. So okay, that makes more sense for these. <laughs> yeah, they look they look more realistic that they've gone up um, just slightly. These are not large amounts in there. And just to show you what what's going to be possible, we're all going to keep an eye. Um, one of the metrics we're showing here, um, I think I'll show, I can't remember if I showed that or not, the Zerion wallet, I might have mentioned it before, but I know I played with it the other day. I'm not sure if I played with it on here. I'll just do it very quickly. Before we do that, let's go here to Snow Dog. You know, Snow Dog, let's see what our max is. Oh, okay, hold on a sec. Okay, yeah, this is on the test wallet. So. I put about 50 into this. This is about $14 now at the current price of about $1,000 per. The backing is almost right there. That's what people underestimate. And this is the buyback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to it. I was going to sell half and hold half. But because the price has dropped so much, and I put in, um, here, let me go ahead and put the amount that I, oh, well, never did that. Let's always do that. Confirm. You know, not, not that I'm going to do it, just make sure that when I want to do it, that's not one step I want to have to wait for. But for the snow dog, what I will do is I will leave it. You can see that's it's, it's the, and it, it will stop rebasing tomorrow, but then they're going to buy back a bunch of their coin and burn it and then let it just run on Avalanche as a meme coin. So it's at a thousand per token now and... It has a backing of $778, so pretty close to its backing. Um, and once they buy back and burn it, we'll see what happens. You know, it was just a bit of a curious scenario. Show can be minted, uh, be redeemed. Did they tell you how much is? Oh, this is the total supply, seventy-seven thousand. 
So 77, so the market cap is that they have that as a buyback. If you do the math on it, hold on, let me do some calculations real quick. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting. I have what now, 0 0.014. And according to this, unless, um, maybe I'm misunderstanding it, there's a market cap. So this is the price. This is the total supply. All right, and this is the backing. Let me, that's actually a better number to do with the, is the backing. Because this is the amount of the buyback is 56 million. And the market cap is only 78 million. And the buyback is even less than that. You know, ballpark it around 64, 63. So pretty soon they'll be able to buy back the vast majority of the tokens to burn. Or at least it seems. So I'm going to hold on to it for the next day. And we'll see what happens afterwards. It's going to be interesting. Go to the Zero Network, which is on Arbitrum. Let's go back to the, I mean, well, okay. Back here and here. And rebate, refresh, unstake, max. Copy Arbitrum. I can't remember if I said that. So here, basically, yeah, I should not, technically, I should not see any changes this until I sell it. Then I'll get the effects of the rebasing on the, on the staked ohms and the avalanche network. If you, if you can buy regular ohm, well, look, none of this is financial advice. None of this is spiritual, emotional advice or anything in any shape, form, or fashion. I mangle words. Um, don't trust nobody. Don't even trust yourself at times for the most part. Everything is everybody lying. Just be safe at all times. Don't click on any links, anything, any email. You know, go to the site yourself. I'm just going to be fairly quick. I'm going to do another video really, really shortly. We're going through a lot of airdrop opportunities that I've been looking at. Trying to see where we can get in and um, kind of elevate ourselves in this game so we can more efficiently move around this crypto sphere, as you can imagine. So do 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 what we got there. We got Spartacus to do and the Sheba staked. All right, let's get back to work. And I'll come back to the Z and look at it in a second. I didn't even brain any focus on that. Spartacus is on the Phantom Network. Phantom Opera. And I refresh because, you know, hey, never know. Oh, look at this. They got something about uh, Sparta Cadabra. I'll click on this afterwards. We finish with our, our task for the day. Max, get a copy of that. Add that to our portfolio. Let me go back here for a sec. So that Arbitrum, okay, making a move up. Wow. What was the Spartacus on? Spartacus made a nice little jump there. Okay, yeah, the AP, APY went up uh, nut bagly. Any particular reason? The price has been going up too for Spartacus. I know it seems like um, the amount of money I put in there has gone up. So they've been doing well. The backing, its price, market cap doing well. Circulating supply. Okay. See what his tokenomics is, because I know like Ohm, his tokenomics changed between a million and ten million in terms of its the range of APY, and I imagine these other ones are similar. Okay, yeah, we talked about this, so this may be a potential airdrop from using. I think they even said it using Spartacus, you get airdrop for Spartacadabra. So, you know, take that information at your own will. We'll go back to Ethereum. I don't think we have anything out there. Ethereum is so expensive. So I'm a little confused. I'm not going to lie. And I have to look up why the discrepancies. And it's probably something about in terms of which information gets updated first. Because here this is the amount of total berry shib they say I have. You can see here. My bearish ship. But if I go here to my 
portfolio and Shiba swaps, there's a bit of a discrepancy. So, yeah. I guess I'll go with this number, which is slightly higher than the number we had last time. But, so yeah, I, I just haven't had the time to look to see what's going on with that and figure out what everyone thinks is the best way and why would the numbers go backwards from, from a point. Makes no sense and start going up again. That should be irregardless of the price. So, not going to keep you long with that. Here's just a quick update very quickly and my idea, the decision I had to make about Snow Dog. So, we'll do another update in a couple of days and see where we're at with the Snow Dog. Curious about how that's going to do once they do their um, buy back and burn. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.